started having cadence. And as it started having cadence, then it became a rhythmic African poem because it was Africans practicing it in a certain African way. And you can find similarities of the beginning of rap music in the courts when you go to Sierra Leone, when you, um, you check out the Creole language, even in the Akan language, when you go to Haiti, you can see such things as the, the king is coming, they sing certain songs. It is not quite rhythmic, but it is also, it also has a certain cadence. You know, that is what gave them to rap music. Let's move on. Okay, so in that brand that goes show rap, will lead to a violent form of and a, a, a violent act of which will have these two people killed. And because the, everyone now, there's something I took out of that. As the MC started praising their DJ, at the point they started praising themselves, when they saw the DJ was the one getting on the girls. You know, so the MC will now begin to praise himself. And then that's where they to rap. So most of the rappers are always saying, I'm better than you. I have this, I have ten cars, I have that. This is where it comes from. And they will shift that from I am better than you into another subconscious test in the African American community called your mama. Where they will say, Your mama is so fat that when she walks across the two minutes after she crosses the main road, the car can come and hit her ass. <laughs> you can see the creativity here, even though. It is quite crass. So they took your mama jokes and then added it to the egotistic show of MC and now started insulting other people. So these young men were ruthless who would now die from gang related, you know, uh, gang related murders because they were singing songs to insult each other. Let's move.